folks, it's Mike. Um, I'm, it's uh, mid-October and uh, I'm out at uh, Okamak Marsh. Um, just, you know, see if I can see any uh, Canada geese uh, just out and about. And, and they are, you can hear them honking in the background there. Uh, I'm also out here to capture uh, photos of uh, the comet that's uh, that's been sort of invading the space uh, over the, the past, I don't know, week or so, something like that. And we'll continue to do so for about the next week or so. Uh, it's uh, Su Chin Shen Atlas, or we'll just call it Atlas, I suppose, just to make it easier. Um, it's about, oh, probably about 7.30, 8 o'clock right now, and uh, getting some good photos of it. Um, basically, uh, just uh, throwing on uh, my 24 to 105 lens to uh, just uh, get some wide shots and uh, some, you know, uh, zoomed in shots. Uh, I was thinking of using my 70 to 200, but uh, eh, zooming it up to like 200, probably a little too close, but uh, yeah. So uh, yeah, I'll uh, show you some photos uh, that I've been taking, and uh, uh, yeah. All right, so uh, I'm shooting down this pathway with uh, some some foliage to that, and uh, there's a tree uh, right about there and there kind of thing. Um, looking out west, uh, which is where you'd see the comet, it's, uh, um, don't ask me how many degrees up, I'll probably see if I can throw it on the screen, so uh, here, here, whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's brighter than uh, Neowise was back in 2020, which, oddly enough, last time I was at Okamak Marsh uh, shooting comets was 2020. Of course, it was much warmer then, but a lot more mosquitoes. So I've, uh, I suppose there are trade-offs. So yeah. So as you can see, it's uh, it's pretty bright. Um, the settings I'm currently using are ISO 800, uh, f/4, which is about as wide open as I can get with this 24 to 105, and uh, uh, what a four seconds. Uh, and uh, this is at uh, 105 millimeters, so uh, pretty good. Um, even uh, even when I'm zoomed out to like 24 millimeters, it's uh, you can you can definitely see the uh, the comet uh, sitting in the sky there. So uh, I'm I'm pretty happy about it, even though I got I got here a little later than I wanted to, but uh, yeah. And of course, being October, uh, things get cooler here in in, uh, in Manitoba. Uh, so yeah, I've got uh, gloves and earmuffs and uh, winter jacket on. Um, I think it's about zero Celsius here in uh, Okamak. Uh, back in the city, it was only like four, so it's getting it's, it's definitely getting colder. Uh, yeah, it's the only downside um, to shooting in the fall. Um, I yeah. I do have to apologize, but, uh, you know, not doing many videos in the last couple months. Uh, stuff's happened, as usual, um, you know, when you're not a professional photographer and uh, doing photography is, you know, full-time stuff. Um, life gets in the way. Yeah, well, uh, it happens. Uh, so at this point, I'm going to, uh, um, you know, shove myself to uh, the back to the office uh, to warm up and to uh, show some of the uh, things I do to uh, process uh, these photos. So away I go. Nope. 
This is not the studio, this is my car. Back to the studio. Okay, so this time I'm back in the studio. Um, I just wanted to go over uh, a few of the uh, the types of uh, compositions and edits that uh, that I've done with uh, with the common shots. Um, I essentially um, went with just two different types of compositions. One where it's it's just the comet in the sky, um, and the other one where you know I've actually got some sort of you know foreground interest. Um, as you can see with this shot here, um, it's just purely in the sky. It's just the comet, it's just stars behind it. Uh, and in terms of um, how I've edited the photos, it's pretty basic. You know, just bringing up the uh, the highlights and the whites, um, essentially leaving the uh, the darks alone. Um, I've also just sort of dropped the uh, the temperature, uh, the, the color temperature uh, on the uh, on the photo, just be a little cooler. I was kind of fighting with some of the lights at uh, the parking lot in Okamik since I was pretty much close to the parking lot. Um, and, uh, you know, I mean, the, the only other thing I've, I've really done, um, aside from, you know, sort of a, a basic tone curve, uh, is just added a little bit of a vignette just to darken the, uh, the edges of the, uh, the photo. Um, and, uh, I'm quite happy with it, you know, I mean, uh, like the shot itself was only, uh, in this particular case, only five seconds, uh, shot out at, uh, at 105 millimeters, which is the, uh, the the farthest reach with the 24 to 105 lens that uh, that I was using that night, um, and ISO yeah it's 1600 which is sort of my standard um, uh, ISO for uh, those uh, you know for for night sky shots um, so yeah the uh, the other type of uh, composition that I uh, I chose was uh, walked out to one of the paths um, near the uh, the parking lot um, as you can see on the the left hand side of the photo here there's there's some brightness to it which came from the uh, the lights in the parking lot which to be honest I, I think added a little bit of depth to uh, to the tree that's that's in the photo um, plus uh, you know I mean I like the the way that the path sort of leads through the photo um, and sort of, well, as you can see, sort of intersects where the, uh, the comet um, was hanging about in the sky. Um, it's, uh, you know, and, and in terms of the, the, um, the edits that I did to it, same sort of idea. Um, I did bring the uh, exposure, the overall exposure up uh, a bit, but uh, I, honestly, outside of that, you know, not much, uh, not much different from the, uh, the other photo. Um, yeah, you know, and, and I honestly, uh, wasn't out all that late for the comet because by 8.45, 9 o'clock at night, uh, the comet was sort of no longer visible. Um, and at the time of recording this video, uh, it's probably a couple weeks after the, uh, the comets sort of had its peak. Uh, so you may still see it in the sky, but you may not. I don't, I can't really say because I've been out really looking for it. Um, so yeah, um, at this point, I will throw myself back into uh, the field and uh, essentially end it from there. No, no, when I said it in the field, I didn't mean here, I meant Okamic. <sighs> and I'm back. Um, so on that note, um, I'll, you know, show some of the final photos and uh, I will bid you a good night and uh, do the usual like, comment, subscribe. Ciao, folks.